Hey, welcome back to Midas Letter Live. My guest this segment is Francis Letourneau. He's the VP of Sales and Marketing for New RAN Wireless, trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange under the symbol NUR. Francis, thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. Francis, in a nutshell, what is it New RAN Wireless is up to? Uh, New RAN Wireless is a, uh, a mobile and broadband uh, infrastructure uh, equipment company. Mm -hmm. uh, we're delivering products across the globe, especially for the uh, emerging rural market. Uh, of course, that's one segment of the company, but we're, we're also on the leading edge of the te technology as we have just uh, been awarded a patent uh, listed in Canada for 5G okay. and uh, waiting for the U.S. to be, uh, to be uh, patented as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're on the verge of bringing new products. To the loop as right. Well. As I recall, your, your main focus is delivering wireless service to remote areas that are not served by the the usual carriers. Absolutely, absolutely. So we focus on the one billion people that are not connected today. Hmm. So we've made uh, purposely built equipment for that specific market. Hmm. We need to overcome challenges like power, like backhaul, and we made the product exactly for that uh, purpose. Mm -hmm. Low cost, low power, uh, V-satellite optimized because most of the uh, these remote areas are connected via satellite. Mm -hmm. So we made this on purpose. We have acquired the software to do it, and we launched the product back in 2016. We've reached a lot of milestone with different organizations like the, uh, mo the major mobile network operator across the globe, especially Africa, Latin America, and uh, Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So this has been our main focus while we are working on the next generation product as we speak as well. Sure, and I see that you just recently received a Frost in Sullivan Award and uh, a best practices award. What exactly was that for? Oh, it's fantastic. So actually that's kind of award that you don't really aim for. It's coming out of the blue. You, uh, they contact you guys and they say, hmm. here, here's, uh, here's that guy. You've been selected as the best innovating technology for tower infrastructure. In hmm. the, uh, so, and this is for the sub-Saharan African market. I see. So we've been selected for that. We just announced it this morning, by the way. Sure. Yeah. How many subscribers do you reach now? Uh, in terms of subscribers, I don't have the count because we're going through some of our client, mm -hmm. but usually um, at a base station can manage up to maybe 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a couple, uh, couple dozen, and we're uh, where we want to do uh, up to a thousand this year. So if you make calculation, we cover population, but the count on, in terms of number of uh, subscribers, we don't have this data yet. I see. But it should be coming. But we aim to connect uh, that billion people through ourselves, through some of our partners, and through MNOs as well. MNO right. stands for a mobile network uh, okay. operator. So the revenue model is retail customers using the system pay you a subscription fee every month? No, we are an equipment uh, equipment vendor company. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we sell the product, the base station. Base station is like a uh, telephone system hmm. with uh, so the wireless. Number of subscribers doesn't even exact. matter. Exactly, <laughs> so we sell to the, um, the Orange, the uh, Vodafones, the MTNs, oh, okay. the Airtel of that world. Oh, so you allow so, them to extend their networks exact, into rural areas. Exactly, exactly, hmm. exactly. So these these names do not do not sound familiar for the Canadians, as we uh, think that Bell, Videotron, uh, Telus are really big, but you should right. look at these uh, companies' subscriber base. It's humongous, sure. and we're working with these guys uh, as we speak. Okay, interesting. What's the uh, what's the financial picture look like in the last year? What's it look like going forward, 12, 24 months? So we announced our result uh, not long ago. We uh, made it six million this year, but that was done on purpose. Like we made a shift back in 2011 to become a product-oriented company while we were an engineering company way back when, since the foundation in 1983. And that shift brought us to build the solution. Mm -hmm. uh, we launched it in 2016. We've worked out through all the processes of being standardized with our different, uh, with different organization. We've reached these milestones already, so that's why we can aim now in 2018, 2019, 2020 to have a substantial growth 
moving mm -hmm. forward. So this mm -hmm. is where we stand as we speak. Okay, so where in the world do you operate primarily and secondarily? Like what regions? You said sub-Saharan, so I assume that's a lot yeah, of Yeah, there's a couple Africa. of countries. So we are in 15, I don't know the final list, but uh, Philippines is one of them uh, in, in Asia. We are in Zambia, DRC, uh, Cameroon, Guinea, mm -hmm. uh, South Africa, soon to go uh, Burundi, mm -hmm. uh, there's more to come, and also Latin America, uh, like uh, Mexico, as well as uh, upcoming Peru as well. Sure. So we're uh, pretty well, proud of this. Yeah, you bet. So, I mean, it's curious to me that a small Canadian company can actually come up with the engineering chops to put a product in the field that's better than any of the big wireless providers can do. So how is it that you come to occupy this niche on such a, such a technical level? Yeah, so that's, that's a really good question, but uh, easy to answer as well. The company came from 30 years of experience of building products for others. Mm. So when we made that decision to do that shift and become a product-oriented company, we, instead of going like technology push, so we build the best product and we push it out there, so we made a market pull. So we went to see what the market was really needing in terms of uh, uh, features, specification, value prop, and things like this, and we built the product on purpose. Mm. So we knew what was out there in terms of our closest competition, in terms of power consumption, in terms of uh, satellite optimization, that kind of thing. So we made the product two times better, at least, than our closest competition. So that's why right now we're on everybody's lips. Uh -huh. uh, we're uh, even used as benchmark into RFP processes by these uh, big guys. Huh. That's the award from Frost and Sullivan. Which is uh, exactly the, 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 the central reason right. for that. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's impressive. We'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in a quarter's time and see how you're doing. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.